microphone, uh, Agatha, continue. Yeah. So, because the reason I invited you was the parliamentary exhibition, Uganda Parliament exhibition. Um, so, first, uh, how were you recruited onto the Uganda Parliament exhibition? You know, we've had uh, vibrant young ladies in, in, in recent times, and mm -hmm. I guess you qualify, you've already won an award congratulations thank you so what is it what inspired you to join the uganda parliament exhibition where i was recruited oscar was in journalism in 2011 after i graduated from journalism school and i have been practicing journalism since then first at the independent and uh, uganda radio network and many other uh, places but now on twitter so i do journalism on twitter now um, now, when I started journalism on Twitter, at first it was individuals doing their journalism and activism on Twitter alone, I mean separately, but eventually <coughs> we came together, a few of us that were doing that on Twitter, and started working together. And that's how the idea of exhibitions began. The parliament exhibition was the seventh, if I remember correctly. Um, I will not count the the the. the those before that but it was the seventh and um yeah so that's how i was recruited and and every time we have an exhibition we get someone who is more knowledgeable about the subject to lead it um i have so far led the ngo exhibition and uh, also the parliament but we are always about three or four people doing that mm. yeah and 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 were you the lead person on the Uganda Parliament exhibition? Yeah, I was one of the, we were two mm. uh, leading. I think later Kakwenza, who hadn't been part of the exhibitions before, but has a lot of information about Parliament, uh, became actually the one who has um, shared more information mm. about Parliament. Yes, but so, initially I was. Yes, how did it work? How are you? I, I guess you don't know to divulge secrets, but how are you getting contacts? I. Or information I was for? a parliamentary reporter. Ah. Um, I have been since 2011. When I when I joined the newsroom, my first assignment was parliament. Um, I am sure Honorable Samuju saw me in the corridors. It was his as, uh, assignment as well previously. In his yeah, but by the time days. by mm. the time I joined as a reporter, he, he was had already an crossed the mm. other side. So I. I like how you say to the other side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in Parliament, us the the journalists sit in the press gallery, and they so so there are sides also, and but, the but MPs. But with the money revelations, we, you know that they are clearly the other side. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the was, sides it always. It was not a wrong term. So, mm. so um, I covered Parliament physically there between mm. uh, 2011 and 2016. And um, 2016, uh, I had joined law school, so there was no time to. But I, I had sources. You know, I don't know if you know how journalism in the field works. So if you've been seated in studios uh, all your life, Oscar, mm. but you make you make contacts, you get sources, and and those sources, you know, they never die. So when they see there's a gap, they reach out to you. They say uh, the journalists have not covered this story, but this is happening. And I kept covering Parliament yeah. even without being physically there. I haven't been accredited to cover Parliament since 2016, but I have been writing yeah. about it um, since but, then. But in, in this era, as we'd say in Luganda, in this era of, of uh, Anita Among, yes. uh, getting such information and coverage is, is kind of brave. Yeah, so, so um, when I... When Anita Mong uh, came to Parliament first as Deputy Speaker in 2021, there was that gap that people saw. But because by the time Anita Mong comes in, Rebecca Kadaga and Obore had made sure they make uh, covering Parliament difficult. Because even though Obori was a journalist, yeah, of course, the mm. journalists are the, uh, are the are our biggest tormentors now in 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 Parliament mm. when they cross to the other side as well. So, in uh, 2013, two journalists wrote a story in the Observer that uh, Rebecca Kadaga then didn't like, and attempted to throw them out of Parliament. They went to court. It was Suleiman Kakaire and uh, David Lumu. And uh, of course, Kadaga respected the law, not like the one that is there now, and had no choice but to have them back. So they realized, I think, her and Obore, 
Mm. They came back to cover parliament actually. Yeah. Yeah, they Continue. did. It's just First that they, I think they continue they went to other things. They have both become lawyers now. But so Obere now started writing to newsrooms to say we do not want this journalist covering parliament. That's how the Yasin Mugerwa's leave parliament, some many of the people, the journalists that they thought so, so they gave themselves the duty to assign for newsrooms who covers parliament. I remember we quarreled about that, but we didn't take it far. So by the time the 11th parliament starts, there's already journalists that maybe are not good enough, are not competent enough, but also not experienced, lack institutional history. And now by this time, I am getting calls, but there are so many things happening, no one is covering them. Because in any system, even if you want to gag people how, they are going to be aggrieved about things and they are going to write them. So I start writing things they were telling me. It started by them passing laws without quorum. <coughs> Honorable Semuju is here. I have him on record, I have that clip where he is asking, but why are we rushing through these laws? Because they pass a law in one hour. And he said they will. First of all, the consultations are not enough. The time you have attributed to the law, both in the committee, at the committee level and in parliament to debate it, is not enough. He asked that when seven bills, financial bills, were passed in a space of three hours. Mm -hmm. And he said they will take us to court. And the speaker said, let them go to court if they want. Let's see what court will do. I have that on record. So I started by writing that. But, you know, there's a law. It's a Minerals Act, which is a very technical act that has been passed without enough consultations. The committee report said we didn't get enough time. So I kept writing that on Twitter. But as you know, some things will not attract as much attention. And one day I wrote about... The, the, the procurement of cars irregularly at an inflated price at about $2.4 billion. And that was now the biggest story. Now, after that and, story, and, and that was factual? Of course, very factual. Mm. I even put um, the, bill, the invoices there on Twitter. Now, after that story, she starts to look for who gives me information. But that had been there. She means what? The Speaker of All Parliament. Right. Mm. And one of the people that they suspect to be giving me information was pushed out of Parliament. He was forced to ask for early retirement. But there had been a case in, a case in court to, to try and block his firing because they had started the process. And um, the case didn't go far and he was forced to withdraw it. And, and uh, because there have been those bribery allegations. Now, for a while, of course, no one wanted to associate with me in parliament. But of course, later, the, the, the dissatisfaction and discontent with what was happening continued. And um, I told some of the people that I knew were sent to me by the speaker and said, you know, you cannot gag 2,000 people. That place has 2,000 people now. <coughs> she came in and recruited over 500 people with no single newspaper advertisement, as the law requires. So you have staff which is almost 1,000. You have members of parliament who are almost 600. You have associates of members of parliament. I, I just wanted to emphasize the number, how the number is about... Let me, let me, let me, let me just finish this point. Uh, fake news. So, 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 just, so, so even Semuju has given her his time. So, <laughs> so when, He's listening. So you cannot have about 2,000 people and think you will gag all of them. <laughs> they are going... Information is going to come out. And that's how I get it. I don't even have to go there. But there are people that are not happy with what is happening. How do you verify then? The information? Mm. I have so many sources. I okay. get it from one. Yeah. And and I'm going... And yes, I am a professional. I've been telling you here that I've been a journalist And, and for, the lawyering has and, helped. And the mm. lawyer. Yeah. So mm. I, I, I really, really... I, am, I love evidence a lot. So I will ask three other people and I will never put out information that I cannot vouch for. Unlike other exhibitors that I am working with who were getting in their in books that someone in parliament writes we are dying the woman can't let us talk to each other me i was actually uh, publishing documents and saying this is what is happening 
because I was getting them and verifying them and all this has been um, So what you're saying that that it is not these monies that Semuju got in May that that really were the big thing the big things had started earlier is yes, passing yes, of laws Yes my timeline has right. all of them from mm. 2021 has the laws that that were passed irregularly no, many people didn't take that seriously but it is actually a very serious matter has later I actually had a show on uh, uh, Parliament every Friday on Civic Space TV. We discussed at length how that Parliament passed the resolution to lend, I mean, to buy shares in Rocco at about 257 billion shillings without, no one said yes. The Deputy Speaker Thomas Taewa said that those, those in favor say aye and to the contrary and no and people said no and he said the eyes have it and ran out of parliament mm. we have discussed all that so there's all that on youtube which is a record that is there that we have discussed these issues for a very long time the exception mm. i am happy mm. has brought that attention that those other uh, issues i have been raising hadn't brought but also oscar i want to say it again that before that i had written extensively about parliament as someone who was primarily whose you know f area was primarily that that even uh rebecca kadag at some point thought i was uh, her big enemy but rebecca kadag dealt with enemies differently from uh, from anita mong and also the platform maybe was not very popular people don't read uh, 2,000 word articles in I the like magazines. Say, she dealt with elements differently. I mean, they both can just kick you out of parliament. No. Mm. Another one can also threaten to kill you. Yeah. <sighs> and just find your nose threats because uh, we've not had uh, Agatha Tyre having threats, but we've had uh, Jim Spire having threats. And, 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 and also he made an allegation that uh, there was a request to UCC and all those things. And uh, I don't know how verified those allegations are. Oh, so um, I don't know why you have not heard that I've had threats. I have a record, mm -hmm. a report done by a CID officer, Charles Twinney, about me in 2022. So after they started hounding out everyone they thought knew me, there is a CID officer who da who compiles a report. I have it. It's not a rumor now. That one is verified. And said, we have confirmed that uh, this number belongs to Agatha Tyre. We confirmed with UCC. We have also confirmed that Agatha Tyre has uh, a personal hatred against the institution of parliament. And you can ask, if that is not a threat, I don't know what it is. That a a, a CID officer is compiling details about you when you have not committed any crime because the, the information I had shared in 2022 about cars is procurement information which the laws of this land require that you publish don't even wait for anyone to look for it, publish it on your websites, publish it on your notice boards publish it in the newspapers now, how a CID officer investigates me for doing my work and, and publishing, there is no bigger threat than that. They had wanted to arrest me then. They detained those people that I'm telling you about for no reason. And that's how some of them ended up being pushed out of parliament. Mm. So the threats have been there for on myself since 2000, 2022. They, ha they are there now. <laughs> You get it in in terms of in form of be careful. They are doing this. They are doing that. Some come as warnings. Some come as intimidation. Some some come as actual threats. But the ones on Spire now were because Kakwens are kept writing more and more. And although we never see evidence of what Kakwens writes, some of the things he's written have actually happened. And, and, and threats, Oscar, are threats, whether they are real or perceived. You're not going to be killed mm. first to know that this was a real threat. So threats have been on us all for, for, for a while now. Mm. Yes. Uh, uh, Malcolm, this is all riveting. You must thank uh, 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 Agatha because it has given you time to engage with Star Cafe on a massive level. Um, you and Semuju, you, you, the damage you have done over there as you listen to Agatha. <laughs> I am in Ramadan, so I have done Ah, I beg your pardon, yes. You are watching uh, so, Malcolm. So you are you are lying. I beg your pardon. 
<laughs> Oscar, the, the samosas he was holding, he was passing on to me. He was passing him. Yes, yes. yes I, uh, I, I beg his he, pardon. He had his yeah. feel at 3, 4 a.m., yeah. so he's good. I, I think we've been behind the news because for many of us, we got into this thing with the monies and, and, and all of that. And In fact, Semoju's revelation first came up. Uh, I don't know if you remember, Malcolm. It is not it is not uh, Agatha that put out Semoju's. It is the FDC is the one that <laughs> put out. And, and, and the, there are stories about how they accessed it. Yeah. Uh, Semoju will tell those ones. Mm. Sem, Sem, Semuju will tell those ones, those yes. ones better. <laughs> but so, we all along we thought it was about money. Yeah. But Agatha makes makes a case that it is more than money. It is it is certainly more than money. The money is what has really and 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 those 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 amounts are really obscene. Um, uh, they, 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 but, but the opulence within within the the institution has been there for a while. If you recall the the time the the, the, the speaker rode in very posh car and. MPs were there, all mouths wide open, uh, venerating the, 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 to receive their their leader in a manner that mm. really questions your your faith in their ability to 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 hold some level of accountability when it gets to 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 the house. Um, I I think that um, as as we well, what the monies have done have helped us crystallize what the problem is uh, and and the problem in my opinion is not is not uh, the the person holding the office of the speaker my 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 opinion is that the problem is a broken system that doesn't because when when the the, the speaker says we can pass these laws they will pass they can go to court and we see what the courts will say that confidence also comes from knowing that the courts themselves have been crippled and their ability to dispense uh, partial justice um, impartial justice uh, has been has been curtailed um when uh, uh, journalists like agatha we need access to information which is a right of of, of every ugandan public information um and that information can't be attained through legally provided for mechanisms there 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 are laws that provide for access to information but to be able to access that information in uganda you need certain signatures from certain particular in individuals so you, you can't then blame them for verifying through uh, the, the quiet sources and then publishing what what they publish and sharing this information with ugandans so i, I think the uproar comes from the um the, the monies which really it, it hits hard it's it's one thing to see the numbers in parliament grow it's another thing to see the um, uh, the bills getting passed without the the required uh, kind of debate uh it, ha it has happened for nearly all of them um it, it's it's one it's a, that's also one thing to to watch that happen it's a whole other thing for an ordinary ugandan to know that the the speaker has a per diem of four thousand dollars per day mm. that is that, that's a whole other dimension now so they can't afford a meal they struggle to access health care but the speaker gets paid four thousand now she does a wonderful job in her office uh, she's expected to do a wonderful job in her office and supposed to be paid for that but when you see how that is commensurate with the status of of, of the ordinary Ugandan, and then you realize that that four thousand is 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 really an, an extreme. So I, I the, the, it's it's a real commendation. Um, social media activ activism has grown. It has and 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 Oscar, there have been several ways in which Ugandans have 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 shared their displeasure. When again the formal processes seem to no, seem not to work, you you how you can't trust. Um, a, a, a police uh, station next door to do so much for you either because they're going to require a bribe or because things are going to go higher up and uh, Agatha is here with the, with the, a, a CID report I, I'm not sure what she can do with that yeah. it seems to be a crime to hate parliament that is the crime that she has which, which is un unverifiable but also okay. it, it might it, it might also it might also be a, an offense that was passed in those laws that were passed, passed very quickly and we don't know that it's actually an offense in this country to, to to sit there and hate parliament i think you have a right to hate the parliament if you want to it mm. might be unpatriotic but that is not not an offense but what do you do with that information then because you know that cid officer has presented this to a particular individual 
who can use it as they wish. If you carry that report to, you, you can report to the police that is investigating you about an investigation on you. But also the <laughs> officer has invaded your privacy for mm. no reason mm. and, and, and revealed, published information about Private information, and, yeah. exactly, exactly. So, mm. I, but, but there, there are yeah. alternative ways that um, Ugandans have been trying to get, get information out. We all know the protests uh, sometime back that uh, were in form of, of, of yellow pigs that were and, and I remember at that point, the, the question was, how did these people get these pigs into parliament? How did that happen? How, how creative and, and, and uh, brazen can Ugandans be, Ugandan young people, to the point where they actually get this information? In the, and I think the trend has, has moved from there um, to, mm. uh, to, to, to where we are now with um, these, these platforms uh, providing forms of accountability to the people um, since the institutions themselves are, are yeah. struggling to do the same. I, I beg your pardon? I, am also I hope I get to comment about the money too later, right? Comment now. Comment before he comes on. Oh, before yeah, Sanjay yes, comes in? Yes. I am glad that the money was so outrageous that it enraged... How can you be glad? No, that it enraged the public ah, okay. to, to pay attention to what was happening in Parliament. Unfortunately, Samuju is part of the money scandal. And um, I'm going to say that... Um, so, I write about Honorable Semuju on Twitter. He said he's not on Twitter, and um, I think that's why he missed that. During the Mabati issues, I don't remember when that was. Must have been early last year. And uh, I observed that Semuju would get up and say, but Madam Speaker, we cannot be sitting here with Mabati thieves. And the person he's addressing is another person who is implicated in that scandal. And I said, but at what point will Semuju say, Madam Speaker, we cannot, this cannot be, this house cannot be chaired by someone involved in this Mabati scandal. And like Do I you told you... you think he can say it? He told us here that he cannot say it. No, but you see, we, this is the Semuju of now. The yeah. Semuju we knew before would say it. We expected him to say it. He was suspended twice from Parliament. No. Even when he was suspended, he would come back and start from where he had stopped. Mm. And, and Anita Mong has never suspended Semuju. So if he would still do it against the people that have suspended him, why is, has he is, is speaking in Parliament? Done it? Can Zake speak in Parliament? Let me, let, let me finish. Yeah. So, so finish. You said yourself. That what? You could deal with the enemies differently. Oh, so, <laughs> so you, you would rather you are suspended and not what? As opposed to Let's finish off and he goes yeah, he comes so, to the microphone. Mm. So I have told you earlier that one of the people that raised a flag about the manner in which laws were being passed was Semuju himself. I don't know if he remembers that. But now time came when he was not raising anything and he gets up and says we are dealing with Mabati thieves here and I am I asked it on Twitter and people of course somewhere on his side saying but that woman would never let let him speak again. If he if he said anything against against her, later when the fights with FDC start and um, that information about his travels leak, I post it again because so this is not the first time I was posting the travel mm. of of Honorable Samuju, the travel details. I post it again and I said, oh, so this explains what I was I've been wondering about all the time. That he also because, ate. Because yeah, that he also gets now. When I was away, and when I came back, I told Patricia that I, I need a chance to respond to some of the things. I think Honorable Samuju on this radio, but also in his articles, he accused me of many things. He first said that the document was not authentic. Later, he wrote and said, but others also uh, have gone to Rome on taxpayers' money. And I'm thinking, you know, we are not actually disappointed in Anita Mong. Like, we never expected any better, but we are disappointed in Samju because he has... <laughs> you he know, has as a moderator, I must caution you. you. You have to speak well of the speaker of Uganda. Okay. Yeah. So <gasps> you can speak but, about Samju so, who is here. So by, by speaking well, you mean I shouldn't say we are not disappointed? I am not, <laughs> as a person. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, because that's my right to exercise mm. my judgment. So... But Honorable Samju, and I am sorry, I'm not good with titles. That's why. That's why I. He doesn't mind you calling him Ibra. Or yeah, Samuju. yeah, yeah, Ibra. I I know some, it's a familiar name, Ibra. So I 
we had expected because he had been someone who gets up every day and says but we cannot be living in this opulence we have a state house that we spend on about two billion per day so we expected him to, to, to act differently from others. Now, when you come and say, and his latest article was, why was Taiwa spared? And for God's sake, like, if I was a newspaper, I would never publish an article like that. And that's my disappointment with us journalists and newspapers. Because that does not take away your liability. Taiwa being also a thief. Uh, oh, uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, being involved in corruption. Yes. Does not mean that it Even takes being away. Even involved in corruption, there's no. We, we like someone just said. There's not yet any report showing he's being well, involved in corruption. For me, as long as uh, Oscar, like I've told you, I have got evidence and I have verified oh. it, and it's true. I am not going to use the word allegedly, because I know that what I have presented <laughs> is true. So. I'm when just preparing space on my phone for the phone call this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> so, 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 so when... That's, that's why we never, you say those things like... <laughs> I caution oh, you. I, I, have I, co- I, say, I am sure I will not be invited here anymore, but it's okay. I'm going to use this no, opportunity. No, so. no, we shall invite so, you regularly. So I, when... I just create space on my phone <laughs> for the phone call. So when Samuju says, why was Taiwan spared... <laughs> I, 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 I wonder, how does that exonerate you? Because you see, when you go to court, even if I went to court with Lydia and we have killed someone together, but the, there's evidence against me and not Lydia. Lydia cannot say why was she... Sp- even if she, he said that, it does not take away... Mm, it does I see not what you're take saying. Away this liability. But, but this capital gang is not caught. So why did you spare Honorable Taiwa? That's, that's what I was coming to. Uh-huh. And that's why I said, if in court evidence against Lydia has not surfaced oh. because people act on evidence. I know, and I have not spared Honorable Taiwa, my first tweet that led to people asking for the exhibition, I am the one who told people on Twitter that <coughs> the commission sat in 2022 and decided to increase the per diem of the speaker from $990 to 4000 and increased the per diem of, of her deputy from 990 as well to $3,500. So I know that the deputy speaker benefits as much from, from what is happening in parliament as his boss. I know that this official, if we've heard about that people go and are paid, that, that benefit goes to the deputy speaker as well. I have just not received these details. And this, the, there are two reasons. One is that the person that there's, has... There's a photograph on Twitter here with Semuju's <laughs> ears closed. <laughs> <laughs> and say, this is Semuju listening but, to, but to that, Aga. <laughs> but that is very old. Uh, photograph. Yes, it's <laughs> the way people store <laughs> these things and <laughs> present them. <laughs> they are refreshing. Today I am listening. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so the, the deputy speaker, like hey, I told hey, you, I'm, I'm going to stop you on that line because you haven't put those documents out yet. Mm. Mm. Yes, I haven't got them. Uh, One okay. of the reasons is so that don't mention what you haven't got. No. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you why. Mm. There was there, there's this intimidation that started of arresting everyone in every department that has made people not share more information, and that's why we have not even continued. And I'm not going to sh- to like share what I do not have. And I have said, and I'm going to say it here, that the exhibition is for everyone. The reason we call for exhibitions is so that people who have got the information we haven't got, share it. Honorable Samuju here is welcome to be part of the exhibition and share Honorable Taeba's uh, details or anyone else that has got them. I, as the person who has got other documents, I have not received the ones of Honorable Taiwa. But like I've stated before, I know that he is a beneficiary. <laughs> don't don't give a judgment of what you have not received. <laughs> no, yeah. I am giving a judgment from from a meeting <coughs> that I know happened that mm-hmm. increased yeah. their benefits, oh. and that's what I am saying. Well, okay. Yes. Back to you, Honorable oh, Samuja. Oh, oh. you, you, you can <coughs> see why I agreed that she you know, presents before the, you. I covered the parliament for 10 years. There are aspects of parliament that have changed. Sometimes because of the change of the leadership. leadership. The Honorable James Wapakawolo used to ride in a Mercedes Benz with a driver and a policeman. And that was it. 
I have written about this and I have said it. The what is taking place in Parliament is a refraction of what is taking place in the country. And for me, that's the context that has been lacking in many of the... Because, as I said, I am not on, on social media by choice. But uh, occasionally, information is sent to me, or my attention is drawn to, to reports that are on social media. <clears throat> so if you are going to speak about vehicles, I remember when we... It must have been either the last or the other parliament. The debate in the country was that why do you give MPs 200 million shilling to buy vehicles? I actually moved the motion in parliament proposing a zero free. Don't give anyone. So what I disagree with is that uh, you single out parliament and then leave out the others. And my motion was that, okay, take away vehicles from everybody. So I have covered parliament and I have seen this growing to where we are today. Um, a speaker in a convoy of 10 vehicles, roads being closed because the speakers are arriving at parliament, lifts being uh, stopped. So the context uh, has been my, my argument with, uh, with Agatha. So the specific issues that have been exhibited, and uh, I didn't mention Taiwa just because I was mentioning Taiwa. Because I asked, uh, we have an exhibition ongoing. So who is exhibiting and for what purpose? Because if they are giving you information only on Anita Mong, and, and the one of mine was, was old information, then I have a reason to ask as a journalist, why are you only exhibiting this particular person and don't exhibit the others? It's a legitimate question now as a leader. I am now not talking as a journalist. Because the person who is giving you information also has has ha, has gatekeepers. Because, and, and at the beginning, you presented it as if you were the one who were printing this information off the system, and you made it look like it was very easy just to go and print. And then I asked. That's why I asked in my, one of my articles, "Do you have all this information about everybody? If you have, then why are you exhibiting only one, two, three? Why are you not ex exhibiting everybody?" That's the question I was asking, and you have said clearly that the people who are volunteering information have only given you those ones. And that's why, the, because you need, to, you, you need also to understand. No, let, 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 him, let him finish. Anne. So you need to understand that all these things that you are saying <laughs> happen, or they may have happened, but there are also fights that are ongoing in all our organizations. If you see the fight in loops, not just because there was money about Mpuga, the fight within the NRM is not because Anita Mong lives differently from the speaker or from any other NRM people. So that's for me the issue that I, I, I raised in, in both my articles. And then the, there are deliberate distortions. For example, I was being uh, portrayed as if I went to attend the two meetings at the same time and earned money. Yet the payment came much later for the two that had happened actually four months before. But even where money is clearly indicated that this money is deducted from Semuju. It is being totaled up to show that, oh, so much money was given to Semuju. But even simple things. Every MP earns an allowance, a sitting allowance. I am paid as a whip of a party. I am paid money to go for field work. All that is totaled to say that, no, the reason Semuju is not speaking about Anita Mongo, it is because of ABCD. And may maybe that's the crime. As you said, for you, you are being now accused of hating parliament. Maybe my crime was that I was not speaking about Anita Mong as much as you wanted. But I must choose how I live in parliament. You can't do that for me. You have said yourself that uh, speakers deal with their enemies differently. So even the MPs must deal with the speakers differently. Because I was an MP under Kadaga, I am now an MP under a different uh, speaker. So you want me to be reckless, and I cannot be. Mm -hmm. So I must say, uh, uh, but I want to challenge you, Honorable yes. Are you are you are you saying? To, are you uh, pulling a tribal card in, in 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 the accusation you're making? No, no, no. I am not because mm. she, her role in all this is exhibiting information. Right. She is not the one that is originating information. 
I am only asking the ones who are originating information that she's exhibiting, why are they only providing information about some people and not others? Yet they are all accused of the same offense. Yeah. So that that's for me is the issue. And as I said, you see, beyond beyond the the allegations as they are put. You must also understand that there is an objective. Why are people doing this? For what reasons? Because I, 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 I did say, <clears throat> if you look, for example, at the money of donation, there is something that has caused much drama. Money being put on the accounts of staff. We have a budget in Uganda of 162 billion shillings for donation. Mr. Museven alone has 137. How does Museven withdraw that money? Does he go to the banker himself? You mean that money is not in the names of the staff of State House? So w why is the country so excited that money is in the names of staff of Anita Mong? Tayewa has a... I, I, I am telling you what mm. happens. Yes. It, 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 it is... Malcolm, get the, a pen and write down. Withdraw. It is in the allocation <coughs> that your people are given money for giving. For me, that is the issue. How they do the money doesn't... Uh, it's not the big deal. The big deal is that you have a budget for donation. With people who have money okay. for donation, mm. and they can withdraw it. So tell me, Lydia, how does Ms. Seven withdraw money for donation? Okay. How we, does the only yeah. Taiwa withdraw? They money don't answer yet, Lydia. You're, you're how coming to How does the, the mm. government uh, chief whip withdraw that money for donation? So for me, the point is, as long as you have this money in the budget, it will be withdrawn the same way. If for you, you are annoyed with the donation itself. The money shouldn't be there at all. Okay. Because the Good withdrawing point. and giving it now will it's dependent on who the, the, the beneficiary is. Mm. I, the money that I'm saving so, carries in, okay. in the sacks will be the same mm. money that Anita Mong will be carrying in the sacks and, and everybody who has it. In fact, the other day I complained <coughs> when I was still chief opposition whip. I said, uh, you have a government whip who is facilitated by 8 billion. And then you have a chief opposition whip who is given nothing. And it remains the same story. You well, can go and ask in Ambeshi. Okay. Uh, let's pause you for now. Honorable uh, Samuja, go to Joseph. If I predict the words you're going to use, you're going to say it's a whole, it's all a mess. <laughs> <coughs> it's not only a mess, it is criminal. And um, in, in, in normal times, <coughs> it would call for a resignation, um, uh, starting with the speaker, uh, and it would call for resignation um, uh, that would call for possibly a dissolution of parliament. And if it were a UPC government, I would dissolve this parliament. I repeat, if it were a UPC government, I would uh, dissolve this parliament. But in any case, it goes farther and higher. Uh, mentions have been made, it goes up to the top. And this is Mr. Museveni. I told this program before, this country is not going to change. We can talk and talk and talk, like Spacey used to say, until cows come home. In as long as we've got this system, it is uh, uh, really, really sad that uh, I, I hope younger people listening know that the monies that we're talking about are their monies. This would not happen under a democratic arrangement. It would not happen under a government, under which it, it could never have happened under UPC government. It never could, and it never will happen under future UPC government. You know, we have had, that said, scandals, parliamentary scandals right now in South Africa. Uh, the Speaker of Parliament is accused of uh, corruption offences, but uh, she's sort of stepped aside, that's sort of the leftist. It happened in, in Britain. Um, which was then called the ex, uh, expense scandal, and um, <laughs> some of my 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 colleague parliamentarians, particularly from the the, 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 the conservative party, including some from the Labour Party, were were were, were victims or were, were basically uh, mentioned in this. And the way systems worked, um, citizens responded, and many of these people um, were held to, to to account in many many different ways. Ironically, in the British Parliament scandal. The best performing members of parliament on this were people like my good friend Jeremy Corbyn, the leftists, you know, the progressive left. That's why I wonder whether NRA is really a political party, you know, <laughs> presiding over this kind of criminality and, and, and a planned and, and a national theft of a scale that will never be known, uh, I think, hopefully for the rest of our lives. Uh, no wonder the other day uh, I was with my nephew who was just traveling around Kampala and was asking that within an hour he had seen uh, pictures of Idi Amin, you know, in three different vehicles and was saying, Uncle, what's going on. So you can imagine if we now feel that Idi Amin is a possibly a possible savior to this nation, you can see how much we've sunk. You know, I um, I, I think that um, 
this is really a manifestation of nothing else but impunity. The sack of money that uh, Semuju is talking about, Ibrahim, my brother. Um, what, when Museveni started with the sack of money, people made uh, a, a fun over these things. We didn't know that it would reach the stage in which uh, uh, a, a president carries bags and sacks of money. Can you just imagine my president, the father of this nation, Dr. Milton Oboti, carrying a few shillings in his left pocket or right pocket, issuing and issuing and issuing? It was not, because that is an institution and a system that, that, that works. Um, Parliamentarians' jobs are really not to dish money, uh, dish out money. Parliamentarians' jobs are to ensure that uh, system, systems work and that they check and, uh, and uh, uh, the, 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 the other arms of government and that they appropriate monies and make sure that uh, monies that are supposed to go to the services, that whether it's education, health, infrastructure and other things, they, they, they appropriately uh, uh, apply. Um, it's impunity because NRA knows that we can get away with it. It's an absence of leadership uh, and that we're not going to get from uh, NRA. I institutions have broken down and in any case anyway, some of the suggestions uh, uh, um, uh, Agatha has referred, you know, you get allegations and you refer, including up to a CID officer, you know, uh, rendering these threats. Where is the judiciary in, in this matter? It is simply because, as I said, now we are running a system which is you have to either please mm. my dear sister uh, Amongi or look at Mr. Museveni and if it, you think that his son is going to be CDF, you better kneel for his son, whatever he's doing, even if it's ag against the law. It's a total moral decay uh, that we are facing today and people are thieving and plundering money openly, including some of my friends who are legislators and it's almost like as if it's business as usual. But you know what? Coming from a doctor and coming from Amolata and coming via Nakasongola and going via to Boy to Soroti and to my, returning to my place in Toro. And right now, today, I have three messages about people who are asking me for money because they are sick and they cannot go next to just the local medical facilities. And they think about the billions of shillings being eaten by a, a group mm. of many people, some of whom as an election would have been dubious elections. Yeah. It would actually call mm. for a, 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 national, so, a national revolution. Let, 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 let me stop you just yeah. now, Joseph, yeah. and squeeze in Lydia before the break. Um, because she, she, she has done yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you, where are you squeezing me in? Because you are hiding. I'm not hi Am I hiding? Why am I hiding? Okay. When you want to squeeze me. I'm in the studio. <laughs> you, are, you are squeezing me in when I'm not squeezable. The, the, there's a, a guy here, Levi Eyaru, um, who very rarely disagrees with uh, Simoju. Uh, uh, usually disagrees with Samuju all along, but now he's saying the, exhibi the exhibitors of the flopped Uganda Parliament ex exhibition know where courts are. They should have gone to court. Do you think this exhibition is a flop, Lydia? Uh, well, why is it a flop if it is being discussed at the gang? Mm. No, for the but at least, yeah. Discussed for the first time at the gun. Yeah. So uh, anyway, anyway, like you know, mm -hmm. these talk shows and the, the media now, people are free to give their opinion. You can as well say it's dead on arrival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also an opinion. Mm -hmm. But for me, uh, because Oscar, you know very well that I'm a, I'm a leader and a member of the NRM party, and we post leaders in Parliament. I, I am one of those that participates in this process. So if members of parliament of NRM have not talked about this matter, mm -hmm. or we have not called caucus for sake, really my hands are tied. I would be, and, and the, my conflict of interest, I'm also a, a competing yeah, person. But um, they are. But, but that's also my, <laughs> also, my <laughs> also my opinion. It's also my opinion. I mean, wo, if members of parliament and the caucus of parliament and SEC have not discussed this matter, Really, I don't have a, an aligned position to come and mm. begin talking. To defend. To defend. So no, not to defend, even to comment. You Secondly, mm. I've said this before, it's not because of this exhibition, and somebody knows this. I've been contesting in Imbari, I'm even going to contest again. So when you begin talking about parliament, those of us that have this, mm. it is easier for uh, Atire and Malcolm, and maybe some Jews already in parliament, than people like myself. We can only request for the people that are in these positions to come up and explain so that we understand uh, and be able to appreciate what they like Semuju has done. Semuju has been able not only to speak on this uh, show, even on TV, but even he has written. You know, it's very good to make a case and respond. Yeah. So we hope that even others and, can and do this so, so that we understand where the exhibitors are coming from 
and where the holders of parliament are also coming from. Chris Obore uh, that's what I can do. And I've said this before. Mm. I've said this before that when we have leaders in offices, even the, 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 the before this uh, current term, there used to be not only money things that there used, there used to be fights, no communication. Uh, people are fighting on tables. Why don't you talk? I kept asking this. Why don't you talk? So I think that uh, Semuju has made this case. Those who agree with him, that's their opinion. But the many actually Semuju have understood when you explain things. Let others also come out and do what mm. and explain. Because Parliament has a communications office. No. Uh, well, that, that he, he said that he, uh, well, the spokesperson of parliament is mm. also doing his part and told us his backing. Yeah, the uh, is, 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 he, Also, him, he's also doing his work. For me, where I sit, we would like to hear people make their case. Semuju has done his part. I think the spokesperson of parliament has also come out. Which is also, when you keep quiet, it becomes difficult for us to understand. And the public, I think, requires understanding. But when you blame mm. Uh, it's also an, it's also an, no an, a one, way of explaining. No, no one has had that one. So, <laughs> so, 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 Oscar, mm. I think also, to the best of his ability, the spokesperson of parliament has not been quiet. He has also been able to talk. What he talks is not the issue, but this he has been able to come out and say, the issue of parliament, it does like this is what, what it requires. I think that people should explain this so that the public gets to know. Mm -hmm. I cannot now come here and begin taking sides or talking because it's really there are people to speak. Why should I speak for somebody who's God, who, whom God has given a chance to speak and to have positions in parliament? Same with you. you. You've done your part. It does not mean that Oh. It, it, it does not mean that you are right or wrong. <laughs> yeah, my least, hands are tied, really. But you are, you are, but he has you, responded. You, you see now, I cannot now speak for others. When they, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they have mouths to speak. I, I was a little bit surprised uh, that um, uh, Lydia seems to suggest that uh, because she was a member of parliament and an intending legislator and a senior leader, uh, that she does not want to express her opinion on this rather outrageous national matter. I have expressed my opinion yeah. by saying, if the allegations against a leader like Semuju has done, yeah. let them be the ones to come out and explain. Or from that perspective. Yes. Because regardless... That is the point. Okay, fair enough. It was a clarification. Because regardless, uh, uh, um, um, this is a national crisis. And in any case, uh, like Dokolo has shown, if it were the case that the majority of ordinary citizens of this country... Dokolo is the start. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, if the majority of ordinary suffering Ugandans got to know that while they suffer, people wh whom they pick, particularly some people whom they pick, go to the National Assembly led by uh, 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 the leaders in the National Assembly, plunder to the extremes, you know, what they do, um, there would be a massive outrage. In any case, strategically for all people who want to go to Parliament, who haven't gone to Parliament, I, I am here and available to give them advice. One of the things would actually be to say, well, we want to go and change, you know, change Parliament. So it's actually in the interest of people who are intending to go to the National Assembly to show that they're going to do things differently from what um, the, the existing legislators are doing. Mm. So to suggest that because you want to go to the Assembly, you want to reserve your comment, I think it would be slightly much more uh, uh, worrying. Mm. Okay. No, 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 I was saying generally, because you've clarified yourself, your, your, your position. No, the voices of the ordinary people of this country need to be heard. And at the moment, what, what, a good proportion of the legislators the way, are not the, doing The way Joseph, you can address Lydia is saying, since you are going back to Parliament, this is what we want you to do. Um, I would say so, but uh, knowing very well that uh, Bugiso is all going to be turning red, meaning red Uganda People's Congress. <laughs> when I get sure. there <laughs> and allegations are made like how Semuju did, for sure I'll yeah. get on pain and respond yeah. because that's accountability. Okay. And when you explain yourself, you, you explain yourself. I mean, like for me, with what Semuju did, I think that's the best others can do. But we should not come here to speak for them when they are able to speak. Fair and enough. if they've chosen silence, we go with the silence. Mm, okay. Uh, so, Semuju, you're on microphone now, mm. Honorable Semuju. Uh, and, uh, uh, right, Joe in Kampala says, I love Agatha. She has undressed Semuju. <laughs> then, Dave, 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 
Devi na in Bali says uh, okay so you we went on different time, trips but maybe ask him uh, some of his trips whether they are in order to redu- should they be reduced on public administration uh, was the ban after covid lifted then Moses Berhanga has told you, Samuju, uh, you are misleading on money for donations. At State House, when the president donates, the money is sent to the account of the institution or person it's being donated to. For instance, There's the president, Moses hold on, Berhanga for instance, the president donates a vehicle to the bishop like he does many times. A vehicle is bought and given to the bishop. So those were three what messages. That that Maybe Moses. But, <coughs> you're, you're two minutes now, Samuju. Yeah. Mm. Um, the many of the aspects that have been raised, um, I may not have followed each. I think Parliament has a duty to do a list of the things that have been said about Parliament and then begin correcting them mm. where um, the, the things that are true. <clears throat> um, some of them may, may not be easy to correct because, I mean, as long as you provide money for, for donation, People are going to donate the way they like. Maybe, and, and, and I, I intend to make a proposal in the next uh, budget, we do our with the money for donation completely so that we don't have people picking money and donating it the way it is. But uh, it's imperfect for Parliament to listen because feedback is always important. And we do this work on behalf of the public. Where we have made mistakes, we should correct them. I don't see the reason why... Um, anyone in parliament should think that parliament is beyond criticism. This work we do on behalf of the public, we have made a mistake, we have a duty to collectively and individually uh, correct ourselves. Where we think we are unfairly covered, we also have a duty to come and explain, like I did uh, up to now. I don't think, and the, the big point that Agatha makes here is that uh, they are angry that Semuji is not doing the same things that he does, but you also need, if you come here and uh, Oscar Semuji gives you opportunity to speak. I don't think you're going to speak about him and then you will be invited for the next program. So the so the so the so the if, con- if, the con- if the Agatha wants to speak about me, let me switch off our microphone. <laughs> 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 <Wow. laughs> <laughs> so sometimes you must understand the conditions under which we work and the decisions oh, that we make. Some of you yes. or the space I've created on my phone <laughs> for the phone calls. Someone sent a message here saying, ah, same way I'm, at same way I'm okay, he's very afraid. And I want to find it and say yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Malcolm, <laughs> one, my, you, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, your even, two minutes. Even uh, even when you are afraid, Oscar, it is important to still speak out, uh, and and we commend those that do. Uh, two 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 quick things, Oscar. One is is and and, and I think it's it's very sad for for us to receive that message from Moses that mm. seems to justify a CSR budget for any government institution. Yeah, because private institutions can't have CSR budgets because they are purely capitalistic. Profit oriented, yeah, but, but you're conflating. They make, they make was money. responding yeah, no, I'm, to I'm, I'm some getting, I'm getting on, there. on how the money is I'm, I'm received. getting there, but, but okay. it shouldn't be there. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't be there in the first no. place. And, and why, would, why would and, the public hold on? And Semuju has no problem with how the money is received. He has a problem like you with the donation. And, 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 and for me, I have a problem with, with all of with that. With both, yeah. I have yeah. a problem with the, with the fact that, that the money is there in yeah. the first place, okay. and how and also I was getting there and how it's distributed. When you have a public and a public office that gives corporate, what is corporate? Corporate social responsibility is the, is the president's office a, a corporation? No. Uh, does it have corporate status? No. Why is is provide? Why is is is, is, is parliament a corporation? No. W- why why are they providing? social responsibility to communities that they are already charged with providing social services to. Mm-hmm. So when you, when you have a donation from the office of the speaker um, or any other government office, even the president, to provide a, a, a health, health center with certain facilities, which ideally should be budgeted for, wh- 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 how do we get to that? If and not, by the if, not of health. if not yes. for, the, for, the, for, the, for the sole purpose, I think as Samuju alludes, to sort of create this hegemonic uh, um, um, responsibility 
around a particular office and you begin to look at the persona in that office and assume that person is here to save you mm. and, and and yet you're, you're the budget actually should be doing that they should be serving and not and not saving uh, that that said the processes that are followed are also very problematic maybe um, as as uh, as Moses says that um, they, 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 they for the for the vehicle of the bishop they pay to, they pay Toyota and Toyota delivers a vehicle maybe but we also know about the sacks of money that move around including the ones the president has been has been photographed close to and I don't know how those ones get accounted for you can't have a, a billion shillings withdrawn by an individual and, and I also have a problem with how the auditor general comes out and says no this has been accounted for it is everything is because it has been accounted for doesn't make make it look good the process the the, the chances of that process itself for because the systems should be impervious to the people mm. that are there mm. they should be functional even even when you change the people are there so what we're doing right now is working on the faith that someone who is employed at the parliament is going to get one billion shillings and is going to take it where it's supposed to go okay. and will come back with mm. an accountability i think that is too much responsibility for individual the last Can bit the last bit oscar <laughs> yeah. is is down to the what about is him that uh, uh, honorable semuju is is is, is as has been peddling really about you know why why focus here why focus there there is room for it because it, it is important that everyone gets a fair shake i think that is very important but then it also takes away from the from the from the actual issue that is that is, that is actually being discussed because if you're pointing and saying why not him why only me then it, 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 you you you're, you're taking it away from the issues and you're making it about the individual about the politics that's, that's surrounding it and yet we can all collectively condemn um, the issues as they are and, and i think he should be able to do that in addition to asking the genuine question why not so mm. and so Agatha, we have my, the two minutes of uh, of, uh, may, of Lydia. May so I, I have four all together to but respond. You, may, 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 may I risk having you giving last word on and, on this topic, <laughs> <laughs> or, or will I invite and, Lydia and, to give last word? And Oscar, mm. I am not as uh, pretentious as Samju. You can be sure that the day there's anything to speak about you, I will sit here and speak it about you. No, don't worry, I will not and, invite you. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, uh, uh, Don't worry about that. I'm going to yeah. start with uh, corporate social responsibility mm. money. Like Malcolm rightly said, Parliament is not a corporate. It shouldn't have, and this budget was never there, by the way. It is a new creation of the 11th Parliament. No, but because you have been confusing donations and co uh, corporate social responsibility. Yes, mm. so, the, so this Parliament has two uh, items. The corporate social responsibility has 53 billion. 53 billion. Then? And then there's donations. Now, it is wrong. Mm, the on. donation has about 5 billion. It's both wrong to have corporate social responsibility, but also not just wrong, but criminal, like, like Joseph Oteno uh, here said, to have money on the accounts of individuals as a, according to the Public Financial Management Act. Now, when I said that in a discussion with Chris O'Boy, Chris O'Boy said, no, it is okay for a senior, a person occupying a senior position to ha receive money on their accounts if they can account for it. That was not true. But also, the people that are receiving money include drivers and, pa and, and personal assistants. So that, that's wrong on both, and we are not going to pick one, to condemn one, and leave the other. A personal assistant, maybe, but a driver. Even drivers. And, and these people, mm. uh, that is all on, on record. If, if we, we will wait because for the report. Because a driver, you, if you imagine a driver's salary. And we will wait for the report of the Financial money. Intelligence Authority right. that has been conducting mm. um, these uh, issues. The uh, Honorable Samuji also talks about where this evidence comes from, these documents come from. Honorable Samuji was a journalist. So we know... No, you are not. <laughs> your, on your microphone we, is we, on. We, so know, we know that um, we have always, it's something you have to know from the start that sources have their motives. Mm. You know? Yeah. And you are not going to refuse to write what information you've got as long as it's right because you're caring about the motive of the source. So you don't care about that as long as the motive does not affect the truthfulness of this. Oh, you can take the bias out of it. For me, it's it's tangible information. Mm. It's not an opinion that has bias. It's 
objective it's not subjective at all so i have thought about that also by the way that i think the reason they have not given me information about Taewa is because maybe the people i'm dealing with like Taewa better than anita Mo. and it and that depends on personalities Taewa tends to be nicer to people than 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 his boss so i have thought that maybe that's why they have refused because i have asked for it and i have evidence for that but also the other thing is that we did not uh, write on about uh, Honre Banita Among. We have written about commissioners. We have written about the travels of, uh, of uh, the clerk parliament. I, I have all that on Twitter. So the information for me and the, exhibit, the other exhibitors that we've got, we have written it. Mm. And uh, Finally. Uh, finally. Yes. Is that, um, we are going to go to Twitter and read that, uh, all this information. I am going to ask forgiveness on my behalf and behalf of Ugandans to Honorable Semuju for ever having high expectations in him. That's our only crime. Because when Semuju says that we want him to be reckless, no, we don't want him to be reckless. We have seen him challenge other people people we thought he would challenge uh, mm. wrongs and corruption and misuse and abuse of power wherever it comes from we okay. are sorry we ever had those expectations in you but maybe now we all know better <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Yeah. at least you are talking to some about someone who is here also not writing about so <laughs> 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 but you don't have any proof you, you don't have any proof i beg your pardon <laughs> the, your microphone the right? same way she has not exhibited taiwa i am also apologizing on behalf of you that no we proof. had high expectations that you will exhibit is my microphone on because i want people to hear this he but, has no proof that I, I have information about taiwa and i have refused but we have proof that he has refused to raise an issue that is in <laughs> parliament <laughs> on, on 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 a daily basis these lawyers. Let's start with you, Malcolm. On on the and he final. hasn't, by the way. The, the, the Agatha <laughs> leave us. So we, we, there's one more topic for discussion. On the bottom, you let's leave us now, and and have uh, Malcolm start uh, at the beginning of a program, and we've lost time, uh, and it was an interesting subject. Yeah. Um, and it's good you've given it a platform. Yeah. But when when I looked at the whole list, I was looking for Malcolm Pamizo. Foreign Affairs, Malcolm Pamizo, advisor on Foreign Affairs. So start by congratulating Lydia, who was on the list. Yes. Uh, as yes. the presidential advisor. Oh, blue sheet. Ah. Let, let accept to be congratulated. <laughs> Calm down. Go on, uh, Malcolm. Uh, thank you, Oscar. Um, yes. Congratulations, Lydia. Um, to you and uh, and and the people that appeared on the on the blue sheet mm. as as it is called, um, I I was among those also looking for my name mm. um, because when I saw some of the names there. I thought, well, mine might be somewhere. Have to be somewhere. And, and then when I saw some of the other names there, I was like, thank God my name is not there. Mm. Um, because this, 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 uh, no, no, the, among, among, the, among, the, among, the, among the ministers, not the advisors. Stop heckling. Uh, among the ministers, not the advisors. Um, Oscar, I, I think that this, this slight amendment, as it is being referred to, um has uh, has been coming really um i i i'll just say three things three things one it 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 might be an attempt to sanitize um when you see some of the names that were dropped um i don't want to go to go back to the mabati saga so i won't speak about it but some of the names that have been dropped uh, you see an attempt to sanitize um, the, the the quality of, of of the people that are in there. There are some that were implicated that haven't haven't moved uh, an inch. So then that could dispel that that very that very point. Um, you also realize uh, on further analysis that this is a further militarization of our cabinet. Um, we already have several serving military officers um, who are implementing government programs um, through an executive which they would be expected at, at one point to go against if they were defending the integrity of uh, and sovereignty of this country. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason why uh, army officers are kept out of politics in, in very many places um, and, and so this further militarization is, can, can be seen as us positioning 
we, when you have a, a, a internal affairs minister is a general you have a uh, well both ministers actually in there you have works which is a general now trade is a general um the the I, igp is a general foreign affairs is a general you know the, the, there's there's a, a, a pervasive use of the military and people with military uh, i don't want to quote uh, mm. uh, uh, my brother ocheno on uh, on on the nra <laughs> mentality yes. within but 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 that that's what seems to be uh, growing and and the third thing i'll say is looking at some of the names um my my, my i also wonder whether it is an attempt to be responsive mm. to some of the uh, cries that have been coming out about the involvement of young people in in, in politics um maybe also they need to be a little bit more inclusive um and then you have okay. the PL, plu, PLU uh, right. heavily represented in there uh, oscar i, I think i still Thank have you. more questions Chris. and answers after on after on, that, on, that on, on the same you, the, on the and uh, uh, Ricky, Ricky on Twitter says he remembers the president said that I hear other people brought Bobby Wine into parliament and others also chose Katolu Wama to parliament. And now we have Bala. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is on Twitter. Just I'm reading a, a tweet. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, no. T teacher of English. <laughs> yes. So, oh, no, but I, I, for me, for I me know where you're going. You're not even going to talk about reshuffle. You'll go to the CDF. No, but, <laughs> you, <laughs> the, the but but you can congratulate our Nyamtoro here, who has been appointed a minister. Mm. I, I am Western to congratulate Lydia mm. because uh, presidential advisors. Uh, <laughs> 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 you remember when 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 it started? Uh, General Sejusa and uh, Professor Kanyamba complained. Mm that they had looked for him seven for more than three months to advise and they couldn't find him. But for me, the, the, the most important thing in all this Oscar mm. was the last uh, paragraph. Seven saying that uh, the handing over uh, and the taking over of, of, of office will be presided over by Salim Saleh. For me, that summarizes everything. <coughs> that Museven is well, son, I had missed that. Mm. Museven is son is not a, is, is structure is supposed to be supervised by the Minister of Defense. But the Minister of Defense cannot uh, preside over a function where Museven is son is taking over the uh, the realms of, of of that office. That it is a brother who must come and preside over. No, it's a general. It's a retired general. <coughs> So you mean he's not himself his brother? Maybe it happens <coughs> to be his brother, but you I, see, we are we are now. I think he's fully, coming in. We, a we are now fully because this is the first time that uh, the one who preside over a function is also part of the statement announcing changes. Because you see, <coughs> it's, it's the first time, and I have covered the military uh, and, 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 and politics for a very long time. So Museveni is no longer shy. That that has evaporated. That we are under family rule, and I think his son cannot uh, uh, cannot be supervised by anyone except his father. If his father is busy, then the brother, uh, maybe the mother. So that's that's where we are as a country. That it must be written in the press statement announcing a cabinet change uh, and military. That this particular function. And remember the last one. Even when he was promoted as a general, it was Sare who went to preside over. At that time, you had Mbadi as CDF. Because Saleh didn't want to salute Mbadi. So he went dressed like he was going to milk cows in, 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 in those jackets of his. <clears throat> because he didn't want to put on uniform. If he wanted a general, he should have appeared in, in, in a uniform of a general. And, but he knew that the moment you appear there, you'll have to salute the CDF. So he chose to go uh, the way he did. So really, the... the, the seven holds uh, everybody in contempt that you can even put that in writing that my brother will be the one to come and mm. preside over as, as, as my son is taking over as a so yeah for me that's what is most significant okay joseph your two minutes um i will give my one minute to um 
my best friend in the studio uh, uh, today. Lydia. No, um, uh, Lydia and uh, and Agatha, my two best friends. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like Samu just said, this is because I was in Dokolo. Samu just said, what, what, what the Dokolo one. end? Samu just was in Dokolo. So what Dokolo end? <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, just as uh, Ibrahim said, I really, really never knew we would reach here. But like uh, a, a senior uh, member of this regime said um, a few years ago, that uh, while they were at Makere University, as uh, little Kadogos returned to to school and they they were already um, commissioned officers. Um, young Mr. Muhozi was just about finding his way into into the military, which uh, obviously surprised uh, our good brother here. Now, to the extent that um, Muhozi is a general today, uh, is something that I know people shy of talking of publicly, but it's something that you know people should have seen coming. That uh, like we guys in UPC told you, this is a military regime, and almost suddenly, fortune, unfortunately, is mm. turning into a family thing. The only way in which it's done is that rather insulting, uh, um, courageous impunity, but almost quite arrogant that you could do this. Uh, make your son CDF today. In fact, I never thought I would see it this so soon. Um, make your brother take the position that he actually does and present it in this way. And particularly considering where we were a few months ago discussing Pilau. And whether or not these guys are breaking the law, whether or not uh, these guys, uh, the boys, got out of hand and uh, he's not respect, respect, responding, respecting his dad. And here now, Balam, here now, Lillian, here now, mm. my good young friend, Nyamutoro, in this combination. What is he telling the country? Okay. My shock, though, thank is you, thank what you. You are ordinary Ugandans minutes. thinking uh, about this? Okay. That I hand over to my uh, fantastic sisters. Mm. Uh, no, you had already said Dokolo. Uh, Agatha, you, you have now one minute because the minute he gave you, he took. <laughs> I, so I have three. He, no, he took. Uh. So, um, you know what they say that there's always room at the top? I didn't know there's also always room at the bottom. Mm. When I be thinking that this country has sunk to its lowest. Mm, mm -hmm. I, I find that there's lower we can still sink. And um, it reminds me of how um, Honorable Kaindo Tafiri was appearing before the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs yeah. Committee some time back and he asked uh, Florence Namayanja to join NRM. And uh, Namayanja said that he cannot join a sinking ship. And he laughed in his characteristic laugh and said, but the ship has been sinking since 1986 and it has never reached the bottom. So I don't know the bottom we are going to eventually reach, but it is sad. And on, it's on that note that I agree with uh, Semuju for the first time on this show. Mm. Uh, fish rots from the bottom. I mean, from the head. Mm. So the problem of this country is at the head. Mm. Even the reason we have corrupt people mm. yeah. and, and they go and hug him and, and he, they come back and just thump is that he is the problem. He has killed institutions and everyone waits for him to act. The IGG will you, not You can act. see why I could not allow you to have last word. <laughs> <laughs> the IGG will not act mm. against uh, even in blatant, you know, when you are showing them the evidence, the police is not acting, the DPP is not acting because they have seen some of my, my sources, when they saw what happened in the state house when she came back just thumping, they said, Agatha, we are not giving you any more information. We have seen that this woman is not untouchable and she will come after us. Thank you, so thank for me, you, Agatha. I think uh, the, yeah. the, the, the appointment of, uh, of course, it depressed me, of his son as the commander in chief and his minions as ministers, it depressed me thank a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Lydia, I, I, you have to have uh, last word because we can't finish with Agatha's last word. <laughs> <laughs> and, and congratulations to you for okay, making it like to the to blue list. I congratulate all those who have been appointed in the new cabinet and also those who have retained their positions as uh, on that blue sheet. Congratulations and uh, make your contribution to our country. I thank you. Thank you so much, listeners of the Capital Gang. Uh, thank you, Star Cafe, for powering the gang. Um, Oscar, same way I'm okay, and I shall see you next week. <laughs>